These are the faces of the innocent, those who suffer through years of abuse and live to tell about it. And there's no reason to have even one more child have to go through this. Barbara Blaine was one of those children. She can be seen here, a smile on her face. Despite the smile, Barbara says those days were dark. She says she was abused by the assistant pastor at her church for four years. I believed it was all my fault. He made me go to confession and led me to believe that it was my fault. And um, so I didn't really realize that it was having a major impact on my life. At that time, she says no one talked about sexual abuse. She had to learn to cope on her own. And she did by starting SNAP, Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests. The organization has since grown and is helping thousands cope with abuse. But Barbara says there is much more that can be done, like releasing the names of those clergy members accused of committing sexual acts on children. If church officials would just do the right thing, children could be safe right now. Good morning, this is Walter Lukasik. I'm the Victim Assistance Coordinator. Uh, can I help you? Walter Lukasik is the Victim Assistance Coordinator for the Diocese of Brownsville. He says since 2002, the Catholic Church has gone to great lengths to make sure all children are protected. Uh, the Catholic Church is probably one of the few churches that have had this program across the board. And I really admire the Catholic Church for having done so because it was embarrassing, but the, they did the right thing, which is to provide a safety net that protects our kids. He says while he can't speak for Bishop Flores on why he won't release the names of those accused priests, their Protect the Children campaign is making great strides in helping to end the cycle of abuse. In San Juan, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.